I hope you're excited for today's video. We are doing a driveway party. I'm gonna show you from setup all the way through to actually performing it. And that means we're not staying here in the studio, no, no. We are going outside. Yes, it is true. It's a gorgeous day out. We will be doing the driveway party. This truck we will be using. As you can see, it's a little bit dirty. So the first step today, we gotta clean this bad boy up. Let's go take it to the wash. So the truck is feeling fresh, it's feeling clean. Then we gotta pick up some equipment. Unfortunately, my garage does not hold all my stuff, so I have a storage unit. We're gonna head out there, grab some speakers and some other stuff we're gonna need to put in the back of the truck today. You're probably gonna hear me say this a bunch, but DJs do a lot of manual hauling around. Luckily, it's a small setup, just a couple speakers and things like that, but these bad boys weigh like 90 pounds each. It's pretty ridiculous and it's pretty hot out. Hey, I'm not complaining, get my tan on. We're gonna start setting up everything in the back of the truck, get everything prepped and ready to go. Equipment is ready to rock, get installed. What we're rocking with today are these Yorkville 15 inch powered speakers. They're up right now, we're gonna see very soon. I should put them on their sides right at the back of the truck so they can project straight outwards. Like I said, they fit like an absolute glove they do fit perfectly that was not planned i had these speakers before these driveway parties even happened i just got lucky but again styrofoam on the bottom one it also helps with scratching so your speakers they're expensive you don't want to get them wrecked and two with vibration as well they absorb some of the bounce and things like that too so styrofoam pro tip definitely have those in the back of your truck all right i'm officially sweating at this point so this is my very temporary setup. When things are in full swing during the summer when I have these events every single day, I have something more permanent that's locked in. I pretty much just roll up to wherever the event is. I pretty much just plug in and I'm ready to go. I just gotta find some power or if I have my own generator, if there's no power around me. So for all the equipment we have to use today, again, speakers obviously, truck, got some extension cords for power. We have our actual controller, it's a Tractor S2. That's my original one. I try not to keep my brand new ones out, especially in the sun and with dust and all that kind of stuff. Those are for indoor events typically. I have them in the truck as a backup though, just in case, always have backups. We also have a uh, mixer here, not that many channels on it. You don't need it. Got a microphone and a backup of those as well in the truck. Everything we need on the actual table. We have the table cloth. Again, the ratchet straps and things like that too. That's pretty much all you really need for this kind of thing, honestly. I do have a banner as well. I typically have on the truck, but I'll show you. I'm getting a new one ordered in for this summer because it was kind of was flopping around in the wind and stuff. It wasn't that, it was good for last year when we didn't know what to expect. For this year, we're getting some way more sturdy, robust for this truck to look a lot sweeter and I'm looking forward to it. back inside the office. All the main stuff for the truck is set up. As I mentioned before, this is the temporary setup. So most of this stuff actually happens on scene once I show up, plug in the power XLRs and that kind of stuff. Takes about, you know, 15 minutes, if that even. So I leave it to when I get there, just so stuff doesn't get messed around when you're driving, get dusty, all that kind of stuff. So all the hard work for the most part is done. So I'm in here, we're gonna cool off and we have to double check the laptop, make sure we have all the music we need. Everything's ready, everything's organized. Backups are good to go with the other laptop, the phone. Just like the little stuff you don't really think about, that could be a huge issue once you get there and things aren't as you want it to be. Spend some time on the computer, make sure everything's nice, ready to go, and uh, we'll head out there. Everything looks to be in order. I know it almost sounds like I'm paranoid with making sure I have backups of everything and everything goes smooth, but this is my full-time job. I wanna make it absolutely perfect for the people who are hiring me and having me come out to their events because I truly do appreciate it. So I wanna make it as perfect as possible. So everything's good to go on the laptop. Now let's get the backpack filled with everything we're gonna need. The laptop, check. XLR cords. These are a bit overkill because it's a very confined space, but yeah, just going with it. Power, power, XLR, 
and then this bad boy, which everything's gonna be plugged into. This thing's pretty heavy duty. If you're gonna get something, make sure it is good quality. The amount of cards I have is just outrageous. <laughs> okay. This is like a to-go bag of DJing. Again, small event, tiny, tiny, tiny setup, so you don't need much. A lot of it can just fit in a backpack. Makes it nice and easy and portable. Hi there, could I please get a large ice cap? both as an entertainer and as a Canadian, you know, before every event, you gotta get your caffeine in you somehow. Whether it's a large double-double or a nice ice cap, it's the best, okay? Everyone has their fix, mine is caffeine for sure. So I uh, got the ice cap, we're showing up to the venue here any second and uh, start getting set up and ready to rock. Just arrived and a big thing as well to keep in mind are these bad boys. So you had them out the day before, typically I have a full video on YouTube already about it. Feel free to click up and check it out. It has more details about this kind of stuff. It kind of shows like, again with restrictions, to be safe, stay on your own property, what time and day I'm coming, all that kind of fun stuff. So that can go in their mailbox uh, or otherwise have one of these hang around on the doorknob as well. So super handy, a uh, very useful, and that way everyone kind of knows the rules and stuff too, so it's as safe as possible. Look how clear. Like this is my look how clean this truck is. Look at automatic wash. That's that I that's crazy. Wow. After that driveway party, I got home, showered, cleaned up a bit. It's pretty hot, especially in the back of a black truck. So there's a few things I wanted to mention, a few reminders to people as well if you are planning to do this. First off, your laptop, always have a backup. I know with mine, it's a brand new MacBook Pro. However, especially if it's in the sun, extremely hot temperatures. Today was only like 20 degrees Celsius, so it wasn't too, too bad, lots of cloud coverage. But I've had instances like 30 degrees Celsius, that thing will fry. Just an hour I'm there doing the driveway parties typically, but it gets hot and it does not like it. Programs will start to slow and it's just not ideal. So that's definitely to keep in mind as well. I wanted to get a shot of everybody and to show that they're all in their driveways. Everyone is socially distancing. It was about halfway into the actual driveway party itself. People came out, got their lawn chairs, whatever else. But again, because of all the protocols and stuff, I didn't want to get out of the truck and then go up to people and record them and whatever else. But it was super cool. Once the music starts playing, people start coming out of the woodwork and really enjoy it. It's super fun. It's a great day overall. So I hope you enjoyed the video. You got to see a little bit of the process leading up to it, take down all that kind of fun stuff. I'm hoping to have a lot more this summer, but this is a new different alternative safe we'll see what happens if you like this kind of video as well kind of like more vloggy style i'd love to hear from you hit the like button subscribe to the channel share it with other people and we'll see you in the next video